Good morning, everyone. I'm David Paul. I'm the Managing Director of VectorVest in the UK. And uh, this morning, I want to look at the UK stock market, the American stock market, and then uh, suggest uh, a few UK shares that I think you should look at. So uh, to start with, uh, uh, the chart uh, shows the VectorVest composite of the UK, which is a, an equally weighted uh, index of all of the shares that we follow on the London stock market, 2,200 shares. And uh, superimposed on that, uh, I've in fact uh, put on our uh, longest term measure of the trend, which is called a confirmed call. And you should be able to see the the red and the green triangles. The uh, green triangle last October uh, up into the uh, uh, sell-off in February, and then uh, the last confirmed up that occurred uh, towards the end of April uh, this year. So since that confirmed up, the market has moved up very strongly indeed, uh, and uh, we've had a very good run. However, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the green line study below the price shows the breadth of the market, the proprietary vector vest buy-sell ratio. And uh, although the market is creeping up at the moment, the buy-sell ratio can't keep up with it, and that's not a good sign. These divergences uh, can last for quite a long time, uh, but nevertheless, a sell signal, one of those red triangles uh, preceded by uh, a divergence of this length needs to be taken very seriously. So um, I'm advising all our VectorVest customers to keep their stops close to the market. And as we run up into the American elections, maybe not time for a very long and protracted fishing trip. Uh, I think you need to stay quite close to it if you are a trader. This is the American market. Uh, again, uh, the uh, longest term measure of the trend on the American market uh, shown with those red and green triangles. Uh, and the candle plot is in fact an equally weighted index of the 8,000 plus shares that we follow on the US exchanges. Again, uh, market moving up stronger, strongly, as you can see the relative strength of the American market much higher than that of the um, uh, UK market because it's uh, made a double top uh, at the uh, February highs. But as it creeps up, as we all know, it's been creeping up on uh, half a dozen large uh, stocks and uh, we don't have to name them. I think everybody knows who they are. Uh, uh, that divergence again is not good, uh, but the, those divergences keep going for a very long time indeed. Uh, and I wouldn't be at all surprised uh, to see that uh, move up uh, move up quite strongly into the American elections. Uh, so uh, the trend is up. Uh, all measures of the trend on VectorVest from short term to long term are up. And I'm sitting on all my positions, uh, which I report weekly uh, to the uh, VectorVest subscribers. Uh, now, uh, some UK shares uh, that I think are worthy of your attention. This is Volex. Uh, and Volex, as you can see, has broken out uh, and is pushing up through the February highs. In the line study below the price, that's forecast earnings per share and forecast earnings per share moving up strongly. That's a weekly chart over the last two years. Uh, and uh, it looks to me as if, if the market can keep going, that Volex can actually uh, uh, move up uh, quite strongly here. Uh, the technical target is uh, well above where we are presently. Uh, Sylvania Platinum, I spoke about the last time uh, I was here a couple of weeks ago. Uh, it's broken out. It's pushing up towards the February highs. Earnings per share rising strongly. Uh, and uh, any strength in the Platinum price, and I think that that share will move very strongly as well. In that particular sector, if you are an adventurous investor, you could also look at Jubilee. Uh, which has got similar characteristics, plus it's got um, some copper exposure in a tailings dam in Zambia. Uh, uh, I like Hilton Foods. Hilton Foods has broken well above uh, the um, uh, February high, showing strong relative strength to the market. Earnings per share is moving up strongly. It's pulled back uh, to the February highs, pulled back in three waves, always strong. And it looks to me as if that's just about to move up strongly indeed. I have a position personally in all of these. Uh, Cranswick, excellent results. Uh, and uh, it's uh, broken up on those results on good volume. Uh, and it pulled back uh, to kiss that uh, trend line that I've drawn in on falling volume. I think this is an exceptionally good level uh, to, to initiate a position in Cranswick if you haven't got one, or to actually buy a few more if you have got them. As you can see, earnings per share moving up strongly indeed. 
a, a great, great company, Cranswick. And uh, Tristel. Tristel makes healthcare and cleaning products. A lot of big, big contracts in the air, as you can see. And over the last two years, earnings per share moving up very strongly indeed. And that's the engine that's driven the share price. And it would seem to have broken out of that little triangle. Uh, I bought it a couple of weeks ago at support based on that little triangle. And it's, uh, I would expect it to move up strongly. The technical uh, target uh, would be uh, significantly above where we are at the moment. Uh, so those are shares that I think you can have a look at. Uh, if you're interested uh, in uh, having a look at Vectorvest, you'll be able to find shares like this quite easily without any effort on your own. Uh, and if you go to vectorvest.co.uk, uh, you can take a 30-day trial to Vectorvest uh, easily uh, and you'll be up and running in 10 minutes.